tomato sauce. That looks delicious. Welcome back, everyone. Ah, uh, Thomas. Agent Morgan, it's past 2100. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's meet up again at the community. Look at him, he's just clipping in and I just like grabbing his kidney. Since this all started, to be See honest. that shit? I'm exhausted. Look at him, he's doing it again. Just the same thing. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. This isn't the I'll fucking and army! The can to come, so How many times late, do I have to fucking okay? tell don't you? Be late. I'll be there. The community center's on the oh, south Jesus side. Christ. I've marked it on your map. Thank you. Thanks, Thomas. Well then, see you tomorrow. Don't worry, Agent York. I've marked it on your HUD. If you go tomorrow at the allotted time, I will give you the XP. Alright then. Well, let's... Uh... Let's get a lift home, shall we? Let's use our brand new amazing item that we just got, guys. Let's use that goddamn radio I just got my hands on. So, we want to go back to the Great Deer Yard Hotel. The Deer Yard. Not even the Deer Fo- oh, I forgot! I forgot! I forgot about that. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. This isn't even the Great Deer Forest, it's just a yard. Just somebody's front yard. There's like a- Solid tree, like deer, fucking statue. She's like, hey, you seen the deer? It's like Polly. That's a statue. She's like, no, that's Jeffrey. He's he, he's always here when I call him. He always knows when I want to see him. That's all. He gets shy when people are watching him. York's just like, oh god, what am I getting myself into? This woman's very clearly delirious, but whatever, it's fine. She makes she makes good coffee. She makes me smile like a fucking demon whenever I drink her coffee, so that's good enough for me. <sighs> okay, let's sleep for like let's sleep for a long time. <sighs> oh Jesus, that's really fucked up my fucking hunger bar, eh? I guess something to eat. What time is it? Uh, it's just gone 9 o'clock. Now, if I remember correctly, we'll do another little sleepies for, <sighs> for three hours. Oop. Yeah, just headbutt my microphone, that's always good. Uh, we'll do another little light sleep. This is what we have to do, guys. <sighs> to waste time in this game. Because I would go and do a side quest or some shit, but the thing is, at this point in the game, Everybody's been like mouse clicked and dragged into the yard into that fucking community hall Waiting for me, so they've actually all been here since literally the moment that George said that he was gonna do that They all they all like paranormally teleported in there. They're all screaming and confused because they have no idea how or why they got there And they're all just waiting for me and then Emily comes in just like you will wait here until the York comes at 3 p.m. And everyone's like, 3 p.m., what's that? And she's like, oh, yes, uh, 1,500. And everyone's like, oh, okay, I got you. What the fuck am I talking about, man? Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, look, I have some time on my hands, too, so... I think there's a meal that gets cooked, like, once a day at the, uh, police station, if I remember correctly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get George to Tokyo drift us all the way from here. Like, he just drifts past, and I dive through the window, and then he just continuously, like, sideways drifts all the way over to the police station. Is that a tomato? inside of a fucking... and lettuce on the one side too. What the fuck is... that's the most disgusting hot dog I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've been on Omegle too many times. So I know what a disgusting hot dog looks like. Anyway... Where the fuck is he? Is it in the kitchen room? No. Where the fuck is Thomas? Make me some food! You asshole! 
There we go. That was the most horrible sound I think I've ever heard in my entire life. In the conference room. Yeah, let's just have lunch in the conference room, shall we? Thomas! Make me food! Where's this TV? Check the weathers. Maybe later. Thomas! Hello? Hello? Oh, you came at a good time. Would you like to have lunch with us? Yes, please. I'll be ready for you in a jiffy. So, what exactly do you want to talk to everyone about? This case goes deeper than you think. Uh -huh. The town folk may have heard about the murder, but they don't understand it. It's a very dangerous situation, and I need to warn yeah, you. Yeah, you just bite at your sandwich. To what the fuck? Do you no see? Just clip there. back onto the fucking Emily table. Made all the arrangements. I've told everyone to gather around between 1500 and 1700. Great. Is that orange juice or coffee in your glass there, Emily? Reminds me of a film I saw recently. A town is under attack by aliens. Uh huh. And so the mayor calls all citizens to the town hall to warn. Are we just talking about movies now? However, seeing this, the aliens attack the hall and wipe them all out together. Yeah. Is that relevant, Agent York? Maybe. I think the kill was fantastic. They used a combination of balloons and meat sauce for exploding heads. Those aliens start firing their death rays and heads start popping. Nice. Flat. Really, quite something. Agent York, some of us are trying to eat here. It's I tomato know, sauce. One of them. Well, anyway, your cooking is the best, Thomas. Thank you. No, Aww. no problem. Still don't know why he's dressed in a police uniform when he's a fucking police officer's assistant. Like Jesus Christ. Okay, back to the investigation. We need to solve this one quickly. Yeah, remember in episode one when we said we have to take our time? Now we, now we have to hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. Don't open. But why? Why not? Because the door will open. Let me guess. Let me have a look. Yeah, the door would open into the TV and break the game. It would just crash the entire game. So they just decided to leave that door as unopenable. What time is it now? It's just gone 12 o'clock. So we have to wait around for like three fucking hours. Uh, yeah, no. Don't need to save. We're good. Oh, Jesus. Do you see the light outside? I've just walked into heaven. No? What the fuck is that noise? What is it? That star looks awful. I could make something like that on MS Paint. In fact, it probably was made on MS Paint. Jesus. Right, I guess I'll drive my ass over to the fucking place where we're supposed to go for 3 o'clock and I'll wait around and then I'll come and get you guys. I'll come and get you guys. You guys can go sit in the living room, do whatever you're doing. Go on your phones, watch some TV, check your Facebook, whatever, and then I'll come and I'll call you when I'm back, okay? Okay. What the fuck is this area? Oh, it's the town hall. Okay. Look at this place. This place looks huge! That clock tower is way too big! That's so fucking huge! Imagine how much, like, resources they'd have to spend on making that! Jesus Christ! Anyway, welcome back, guys. I told you I'd call you when I came back. Let me guess, it's gonna say that it's locked. Because I didn't wait. Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between 1500 and 1700. Yeah. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. What the fuck? I'm sorry for anybody who has seizures and shit. I'm just gonna walk out of that actually. That's horrible. Apologies to anybody who has uh, epilepsy. But then again, if you watched like any of the other episodes of this game, you probably realize that you should take like you should be careful when it comes to certain parts of the game. Right, let's wait until 3 p.m., shall we? Oh, there we go. My God, all of this shit. Okay, thanks for the arrival notice, guy. Can I go in now, please? 
Do the animation. Greenvale Community Center. Now that's an impressive building. Clock tower is impressive too. It's fucking huge. Yeah. What? Did you guys see it? Did you guys see that? He just uh, absorbed his fucking poncho into his body. How the fuck did he do that? He just absorbed it like fucking Majin Buu. Zack, I haven't been on stage like this since elementary school. I'm not some tree in the Jesus wind Christ. this time either. Well, that was a tough role. I was a piece of scenery. Bright red tree. That was rough, man. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming today. Wow, that sounds terrible. Getting right down to business. Look at Thomas just sat in the background. Agent Why Morgan is he wearing a fucking police Federal uniform? Of investigations He's not a fucking police officer. Good afternoon. Why is I'm he pointing his badge York No one can see it. Some of you are already aware by now of the tragic murder of Anna Graham. Yeah, Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible crime. Is Thomas just making notes? To solve the okay. Of this young, beautiful girl. Yeah, this young, beautiful, sexy. And to I bring be, uh, the one responsible to justice. Justice here. What the fuck is going on? Incidents like these have a tendency to happen again. I asked him, bitch, and she's like, oh, okay. To share some advice in order to minimize the risk of further fatal incidents. Do you think that he's, like, put his hands like that because he thinks that he's holding the microphone, First, but they've just, like, edited please, it to the side? Stay away from any dark, dangerous, isolated places. Yeah, like, you see all that shit that I drew on there? Especially of Anna's age. Please, guide your children away from such places at all costs. <sighs> He's like, what the fuck did you draw? You Secondly, it's like spaghetti on a plate. Avoid going out when it is raining. Everyone does that anyway. Now I heard the folklore story of the raincoat killer. What the fuck is he talking about? There is a chance that the murderer is mimicking the story. Oh, okay. Women should also be especially careful. I would hate to see more victims. What's the issue? Oh, it's Mrs. Stiletto Heels. Look at her feet clipping through the floor! Carol McLean, bar owner and floor clipper. Agent York. Hello. Say words. Who's the fashionable late one? That's Carol, Thomas's sister. She owns a bar. Uh huh. Thomas's sister. Oh no, my sister's here. Why does that matter? Why is he gulping? Uh, excuse me. So, as I have said, avoid going outside when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. This whole game is suspicious, you The will be caught and brought to justice. They should arrest this game. But you must all remain on guard until we do so. That'd be great. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Basically, uh, so don't do the things that you know that you shouldn't do. Don't go into dark places and don't hang out with weirdos. And young kids don't hang out with strange men and women. What are you doing? Harry. Clip through it! Yeah! You saw it, right? Stuff. Make it rhyme though, yeah? Okay? Yeah, and this too. When paying for our sins, we must not frown. The loss of Anna was for that debt. What? Shut the fuck up, phone. Jesus, that was rude. Is that his coffee? When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell. I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. What? He was thinking of a rhyme that entire time. York's just gonna let him go. He's just like, okay. Thanks for that. Thanks for scaring everybody. It's Mr. Stewart. Sure knows how to steal thunder. 
Well then, Zack, let's ask some questions before all these guys leave. Okay. Let's talk to George a second, my arch nemesis. Agent Morgan, here's your chance to get to know some of the townsfolk. Yep. Don't let it go to waste. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna leave then. No, I'm kidding. Right. Can I... I have to jump down. I can't walk down these stairs. You were ready for it to, like, point my camera down as I walk... Oh, there it is. Quite a performance. Mysterious and very poetic. But I don't think many of your audience appreciated it. I wonder why. Tell him I won't give a fuck. I'm rich. I could do whatever the fuck I want. Mr. Francis York Moore. The purple fog appears with rain, soiling and ruining our town. The evil does not drain. What? Find out why the town is soiled. Yeah, who shit the sounds from which it boiled. Then and only then your case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime, the proper must do the proper at the proper time. Okay, so it says. is not yet mine. No. That is Mr. Stewart's time, not mine. But if you, Mr. York, find the right uh, time to chat with the fucking me, that is with Mr. Stewart, may that be the fucking headset just like keeps jumping see. between which one I can so hear what this Mr. guy is talking Stewart. about. So, Harry, you know something, but there's some reason why you can't tell me yet. Is that what you're trying to say? Tell us now. Poetic rubbish, Harry, and tell us what you know. We could force you to talk, you know. Yeah, I'll shake you like my hand. Like this. I'm fucking disabled from the waist down. Tell him I don't give a fuck. I can't feel shit. Mr. Francis York Moore. Yeah, just ignore him. Close bah. attention to the signs, the omens, and the premonition. Oh, he said it, guys! Small they may be, they still are Was it deadly? And helpful to your investigations. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning, Harry. But don't worry. Me and Zack, we know what we're doing. <laughs> Wait, did he just fucking instant transmission? What the fuck happened? Do you see all these guys just not moving or talking or anything? Wow, this is really uncomfortable. I think I scared them all. Let's take that black coffin. I can't? Yeah, clean up your fucking inventory, dead rod. Thank you for moving that to my toolbox. Uh... <gasps> There's three of the same guy all in the same part. You see that shit? Oh my god. That's amazing. Most of these guys look like they're fucking, like... Oh, there's two there. They're the same guy. Fuck, man. It's two of those girls who are the same over there, too. Oh, Jesus, right, I'm out of here. The fuck are you? Hey there, corpsey. Good evening, Agent. Right. Brian the Insomniac. Okay. Good evening, Mr... Brian, the Gravekeeper. <clears throat> Brian. Mr. Brian. Brian. I like the retro look. Auditioning for Little Grave on the Prairie? Anna. Oh, she was so beautiful. Too soon. Mm. Too, you too soon. You tend to those to graves, grave. Brian. So sad. So sad. I totally agree. That's why I'm here. Looking for the one who did it. Were you close to her? Mm. Uh, only when I was looking through her window. Anna. <laughs> her smile. So warm. Bye. Anna. Blonde hair. So bright. Okay. There's a graveyard somewhere in town, Zach. I'm not excited about the idea, but maybe we should at least check it out. Why? What's that got to do with our fucking... God knows. Oh well. Wait, is his hair clipping through his f his hair clipped through his face for a second? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. 
So Anna was killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? Dick? Why the fuck do you think? I have an interest in murder cases involving young women. Well, you know, man, this might just be another case to you. But it means the death of a friend to me. Yeah. I don't want you taking this lightly like it's just another case. Okay. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. I'm here to apprehend the perpetrator who did this. Yeah, because local enforcement can't shine their own boots, right? Good point. You can't always count on the police now, can you? No. But that doesn't mean you're going to capture the perpetrator yourself, Quint. How do you know my name? I memorized the name of every citizen before arriving in town. You fucking what? I also know about you and your significant other. You mean Becky? Becky? Don't underestimate the Yeah, FBI. she has the good hair, right? We know and see everything. I'm sorry if I was a little harsh. I want to help, I do. Okay? Wow, your voice acting is really good, buddy. You want to try that one again, though? Okay, Zach, I'll tell you no? how I knew his name. He's got a small Q on his hat. What? That was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. He was even kind enough to tell us his girlfriend's name. I can read him like a book, Zach. Wow. Well, that was lucky. Fucking weirdo. Let's talk to this fucking dude. You're York, right? I'm Richard Dunn, the owner of the darts bar. He's here, just, 65. He waves it around. Sweary 65, yeah. He just waves that shit around like it's a gun or some shit. How'd you like Man. the town? Oh, it's great. Aside from the murder that happened here. Yep. Murder just yep. doesn't fit with a small town like ours. Well, Richard, I'll have to correct you on that. Crimes don't care about size. Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. Uh, I guess you're right. So, how did you know Anna? I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. Why are you smiling like that? Yes, she was a child. Just like her mother. She's so Sally. pretty. What do you know about Sally? Uh, well, I, I went all through school with her right here in town. Ugh. I never thought our children would be the same age. I don't see her here today. Ah, oh, well, see, she lost her husband, and this time it's her daughter. She's at home right now, trying to make peace yeah. with it all. I wonder you why, know when her daughter's just been brutally murdered. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. Okay. What now? What is Usher? We know Jim. Is there anyone else we don't know? Hey, it's Polly. Just anyone who's called suspect, I guess. The f Do you guys see... Let's just steer Clinton. No, I'm joking. Go on, then. Oh, God. Oh, my. York. My heart is Your getting face. cold. Roaming Sigourney. Nick name. The Pot Lady. Hey, mister. My pot is getting cold. Uh -huh. You are... Who? What are you saying? I'm Sigourney. Sigourney. Why are you saying it Sigourney. like you're a Pokemon okay. or some shit? Now, what is the matter? Can you explain? No time for chatting. I need to hurry. My pot is getting colder. Uh-huh. Oh, you're useless. Mudada. So we've met all sorts today, but really, she takes the cake. Amazing. We're doing a little fucking dance. Can I, like... No? Oh, okay. What if I do it this side? No? Okay. Polly's just staring at this Asian honor that I'm gonna just take for myself. Oh shit, she's gonna beat me up! No! We have to get out of here! Alright, what's going on over here then? Oh dear. Hey, good looking. Nice speech. Aha. Uh -huh. Gina the Rose. Jack's wife. You know when your description you is are? Blank's wife? Oh, I'm Gina. I'm married to Jack. That shows he you how much of a station. life that they seem to Call have. Me the Rose. 
You look pretty... revealing. Oh, <laughs> this old thing? Oh, you should see some of my other clothes. You? Oh, now you are cool. That scar really is a turn-on. Uh -huh. You should come to my station. I'll give you a little extra service. That would be great. I can't believe how expensive gasoline is nowadays. Some extra service would be great. But now, about my current case. Do you have any information on Anna? Have you seen anything suspicious? Oh, I don't know. Talk to my hubby about the difficult stuff, okay? Yeah, I'm just a... This is getting us nowhere, Zach. I'm just a sexy woman. I'm just a... Oh, Jesus. I'm just... I'm just a woman. I'm just a sex object. Don't ask me questions and... Sh you just spat onto your own shoulder, man. That's disgusting. So that sex object is your wife, I right? ain't got nothing to tell the cops. Okay. Jack the Raging Bull. <laughs> what about the FBI? Ah, I forgot. I 100% forgot up. that name. his name is the Raging Bull. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. Why? That's a manly nickname. If you want info, it'll cost you. I only talk to Ben Franklin. You know, first impressions uh -huh. are important. I can detain you for a few days, and maybe you'll become more fun to meet. <laughs> oh, God. Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. What a fucking loser. Hey, Jim Bean. I mean, Jim Green. We got more suspects here to talk to. Hey, man. Aren't you the gun owner? You look like fucking Majima from Yakuza a little bit. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Just imagine him with an Wesley, eye patch. owner of the gun store called Panda Bear. People around here call me the gunsmith. I, I wonder why Wesley the gunsmith. Was there something you want to ask me? How do you make a living running a gun store in a place like this? I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Just Worry really gives expensive. a small thing a big shadow. I do gunsmith work in my shop, too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. Yeah. I hope so. Is what I got. A submachine gun that I already have. What's that, Flares? Um... I need to get some more bullets. Actually. Because I ran out, didn't I? Last time. So we'll buy a couple. Just so that I can... When I need to do that side quest that I want to do. I have some bullets. Guns are just tools for killing people. Don't like it any more than you do. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Even today, a customer yeah, they give paid you fucking to to lollipops. Some help. I just got back. I see. Yeah, even though they guys. Well, I'll be sure to visit your store I'm sometime. Acting. I'd like for you to take a look at my. Game. I am Understood. voice. Look forward to it. Acting. The shop will be open again tomorrow. It's hmm. usually open from twenty hundred to oh six hundred. See you then. Why would you be open over the course of the night? Why would you not be open in the middle of the day? Eight o'clock in the evening until fucking oh, whatever. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this guy? Hey there, FBI. I'm Keith Ingram. Uh-huh. What, are you the dad of those kids? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Why That's is what everyone thing say dick me. in the okay, hole? Okay, York. No problem, man. So, Keith. I hear you run the milk bar and convenience store. Why would you right, stop? That's right, man. Rock and roll. Okay. What the fuck you are you doing? Raincoats there by any chance? Yeah, but nobody ever buys them though. Anyone who wears one of them, I say, just ain't a rocker. Uh huh. No, that scar of yours. Now that scar rocks. This uh -huh. scar rocks. <laughs> now that's a new one. I'll drop by your store soon, and let's talk then. Uh -huh. Yeah, cool, man. Rock on, FBI. <laughs> oh no.
You're Isaac and Isaiah's mother? Yes, I'm Lily. Yes. How the fuck did you end up getting tangled up with that loser? I'm FBI Special Agent... Agent York, right? You are good. <laughs> the handsome special agent from the big city. The facial scar trademark. The way you introduce yourself. Everyone's talking about you. Uh -huh. Well, I can't say much about the scar. But the way I introduce myself, Zack and I consider it a kind of ritual of sorts. Everyone has their own rituals. It's yes, like they do. Always leaving the house left foot first. It's one of those things. <laughs> you certainly are a funny one. So, have you noticed anything <laughs> strange like, or out oh, of place shit, she recently? I'm weird. Well, so, uh... <laughs> been taking a couple of days off from work, but aside from that, I heard she was in shock after the murder. But what the fuck are you, you think doing? there's something else? Well, I took the boys along to see her today. She's always so kind to them, and they love seeing her too. But she took uh -huh. in the boys and told me to wait outside. That's a bit Something creepy. about a special secret between oh, just the three of them. Oh no. I just couldn't understand oh, it. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not even going to make a fucking joke about Thank that. You, really. That's too much. Perhaps we should give Becky a visit tomorrow, Zach. Uh huh. Look at Keith. He's just fucking enjoying his life, man. Right, who's left? We have two more suspects left, I believe. I'm U.S. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Oh, man. Olivia. Nick's wife? This, this fucking ugh, Nick's wife. Again, all of the women. Swear, you really know how to write your women, don't your you? Everyone's either somebody's right? wife or just a sex object. What kind of girl was she? Well... She was a very or hard dead. worker. A you nice know girl. how to treat your female characters. Did you ever see her acting strange? Uh, well, not really. Say three lines, uh, and then they there die. There was one thing. Do you like hate well, you women see, or something? The diner closes when it rains. Do you guys know what movie Many that's from? Many shops do that around here, as you might have heard. That was so bad. Anyway, it was Anna always though. seemed unfocused the day after it rained, and came in late too. Uh -huh. It was almost as if she used up all her energy the day before. Uh -huh. Come to think of it, that was really strange. Did that legendary monster really kill yeah, her? Yeah, the legendary a monster. monster. Just a criminal. Criminal I'm going to catch and bring to the justice. The sick-ass monster. You mean... Oh, the monster from the legend, right? Not the legendary monster. Nick, put your dick away. Come talk to me for a sec. I tap, like, I'm U.S. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I presume you are the owner of the diner that Anna worked at? That's right. Uh-huh. Nick Cormack. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Anna Graham. Did you notice anything strange about her prior to the incident? No. <laughs> Nick, are you hiding something? No, nothing. You sure? Why is this dialogue I'm so sorry, clunky? I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. Okay. I guess I'll go then. I think we're done talking to everybody. As far as I can see, anyway. I don't think there's no one else. Can we leave? No? Why can't I leave? What have I missed? What did I miss? I guess we'll talk to Jim then, despite the fact that we already know Jim. Jim, thanks for your help in the forest. How are Isaac and Isaiah? This is They're the fine. most epic, hypest really fucking episode in the grandpa. entire series, man. We well, stood around and talked to so. a bunch of people. I want to keep them away from the filth of the material world as much as I can. Yeah. Their mother agrees, which is why she lets me take care of them so often. And the that's why the I want you to world. solve this case quickly and go home. Those rumors about that scar of yours do more damage than good around here. I guess I reek of the material world, don't I? I have to, in order to do my job. But I understand what you mean. I'd think the same if I was born in a place like this, Zack. What? What, that people... Uh, materialistic? Like, yeah, look at me go, wifey, and she's like, Why the fuck did I marry you? 
Why did why did why did I let you have knock me up and have kids? Jesus Christ. Is there anyone else who I missed? Oh Polly. Do you have a cracker for me? Mr. Morgan, you're quite an impressive public speaker. Yeah, really? the way that you stopped talking you, for like five whole minutes as somebody a walked of a play in. I saw when I was, was young. Great. What kind of play? I'm talking about back when this place was still called the Mercury Theater. When I was young, I used to come here often with my husband. God rest his soul. Uh -huh. We'd come on the weekend to see the latest play. Oh, He'd always pretend to be uninterested. But I could tell he was excited inside. Yolk's just like, oh, He was just hell. one of those kind of guys, really, thinking about it now. Is this like your deer in the front yard really? again, Polly? Oh. So what's your favorite play? Oh, well, I like so many. There was one in particular, but... I can't recall the name anymore. Oh, it was a very famous one, too. Uh -huh. Something by Shakespeare? Oh, um... <sighs> oh. No, nothing. One more bell that doesn't ring anymore. Oh. I've always been forgetful about the plays we used to see anyway. Oh, and my husband would get angry at me for forgetting what we saw. He'd go on for hours retelling what the play was about. Surely His that's eyes great for you. were so sparkling, like a happy young boy. And then he'd tell you how terrible it was. So, what's your favorite play? Oh, I almost forgot, Mr. Morgan. We're going to have another guest soon. What? I have to get back and get things ready. Sorry on, for man. having to hurry away. I'll see you back at the Holy hotel. shit! See how quickly she decided to just- oh Zach, my god. I think she could embarrass the toughest of the FBI's interrogators. She successfully avoided answering my question, Zack. Amazing. It's almost like she's a fucking old woman who doesn't know what she's doing or what she's talking about. Weird that. Can I leave now, please? I've spoken to everyone. God damn it! Did you see me just click through the door then, guys? Nah, shut up. It's fine, though. Who have I missed? I might talk to Thomas and Emily just to make sure they're faced. Agent York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. Okay, I'm sorry that how I could triggered one you, do I such guess. such a terrible thing? I don't know, how could one? I'm still in shock. <sighs> hmm. Thomas, I forgot to ask. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? A uh, tattoo? Well, I do, actually. But why? Can you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? Yes, please. This is vital for our investigation. Look at these glowy eyes, man. <laughs> okay. If it's gonna help you any. What does it say? What is it? <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Well, I'm wondering who G is now, but aside from that... Did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? Of course not. What? No! You ought to see that tattoo, Zack. A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. Oh, I wonder who I that is. got that done, but we've all been through the 80s. Well, I haven't, actually, but, you know. Love G. Love G. Love G? Ah, no, I'm, I'm thinking into it too hard. I must be. Agent York, are you finished asking questions yet? I when you're so. done, let me know. We'll all get dinner. I think I've spoken to everyone except for Usher. So let's go talk to Usher and then let's get the fuck out of here. Oh shit, there's somebody else here. Hello, suspect. This old man. So you're the FBI agent, are you? It's fucking Snake. Look at him. He looks like old I'm Snake. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. He looks like Big Boss. I'm the general. 
I fought for my country in the Vietnam War. Why the fuck is Big Boss Some in this game from Malkia Sala is? So why are you living here? Soldier, this is my hometown. Uh -huh. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than his hometown. Your little speech, you mentioned the raincoat killer. Was that a problem? You imbecile. What? The raincoat killer's no myth, not mere folklore, not a fairy tale. It's based on actual events that happened in this town. It is. I'm interested. Can you tell me more about this? No. <laughs> you kids today don't even know how to ask for something, right? What's that mean? Soldier, if you want to hear more, you come to my office. Oh, Carr, I will. It sounds like the star of a poor now. He literally exudes raw power, Zack. Yeah, Despite the credibility exudes. issues, we should give him a visit. Big dick energy. Though. Calls himself a general, but isn't that a sergeant's uniform? Oh. Uh oh. What well, loser? Alright, let's talk to these two idiots and then let's get out of here then, shall we? Agent York, you make any progress? Of course, plenty. Uh, tell me, Usher, when is Anna's funeral? Mm, that's still undecided. Sally isn't really in any condition to do it right now. Her mother? I don't see her here. Anna was her sole reason for living, after her husband was deceased. Oh. Well, she's probably After he was huddled deceased. up at home. And I should probably take some time to pay her a visit. Well, yes, you should. And I'd appreciate it if you could, too. Okay. Um, but don't go too hard on her, okay? Maybe we'll do that then, I guess. Hey, Fiona. You good? Are you getting closer to catching the murderer? Possibly. Hello again, Fiona. Good to see you here. Yeah, just ignore a question, well, York. Well, Dr. Johnson told me to be here. He said it would be important. Well, that Why? was good advice. He may be young, but he seems like a wise man. Oh, and he's a very hard-working person, too. Everyone thinks he's some kind of weirdo, but I don't think so at all. People don't understand why he's in the autopsy room all day, but I do. Probably because it's part of his he's job? He's doing research to make the world a better place in the future. Uh -huh. You know, he already made a fortune in L.A. with his career. Why the fuck is he... I did not so know sad. that. You didn't? Oh, the doctor is a very rich man. He has a really big house over by the lake. Uh-huh. Amazing, Zack. He must be loaded. Rich and young. A perfect combination. But you don't get that feeling from him at all, do you? He doesn't show it. That's one of the things I like best about him. Well, I could have been fooled if it weren't for you. Uh -huh. Thanks for the valuable information, Fiona. Ah. No. <laughs> oh, he's shy. He's shy about it. That's cute. All right, let's get the fuck out of here then, shall we? Emily. Emily. Let's go. I've wasted enough time here already. Let's get out of here. Emily. Let me talk to you. No? Oh my fucking god, there's more people. Ooh, Agent Honor. Boop. What's this? Ooh, cigarettes, I need to take those. I'm missing a few of them now. Go on then, Carol. Hello. Anna was an airhead. What do you mean? She's a fucking idiot. Are you saying she was killed because she was an airhead? Or are you saying that she was an airhead for being killed? I'm sure she's still an airhead even in heaven. Did she, she just... changed oh, okay. her hair every day. I thought she'd like... If she lost a pound, she'd be ecstatic. Gain one and she'd almost the floor be in tears. And then jumped up for a second there. She broke many, many plates every day at the diner. And she'd always have a smile on her face. Always having fun. Everyone looked at her and knew she was a cute, adorable, loving airhead. But they would be smiling right along with her. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be surprised if the angels smiled uh. with her too. <laughs> the fuck? 
Ah! What the fuck is that? Isaac and Isaiah said that Anna was a fairy of the forest. Was that Sid oh from Ice Age? The fuck was I staring at? Oh, bye! <sighs> What the fuck happened? Oh my god. Am I done? Can I go now? Agent Morgan, I'd like to let oh. you alone now. Let's go outside. Thank fuck. Bye, everybody. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Why do you have to show everybody leaving? Can everyone just yeah, let's go, yeah, come on, hey, let's go home, yeah. Look at him, look at Keith, man! <laughs> everyone just completely ignoring him. Oh shit, Gina doing a sexy walk as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, number one continues one because that time I got my dead calf. Great. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank fuck that's over.